Hi there, life is good. Welcome to day 2418 of What You Have to Know. She being me, Sharon Hornellstrom, like to hop on every day and just talk about and kind of video journal what's working, what's not working as I transition from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And if you have specific questions, please ask. You can ask on the video. You can ask me in the comments below. You can just find me pretty much anywhere. I'm all over the place and ask your questions so that I can answer them for everybody else too. Because guess what? If you've got a question, I guarantee you're not the only one on the planet and other people have that same question. So you can help yourself and other people by asking a question. So today we're talking about action and action strategies, action in our SOAP framework. We want to analyze alternatives and the options that we came up with yesterday as part of the SOAP framework process. And we're going to look at them, analyze them using some tools. Sometimes we don't need a tool. Sometimes we, we make a list of options and we know exactly what we're going to act on now. And we do that. This step of the process is all about taking action as quickly as we make a decision, meaning we select one of the options and we say, yep, I'm going to do that. And I do something right now to back up my, I mean, I take some action to back up my commitment to that. Why? Because that becomes a process and I'm going to put this down. That gets us into the action mode of beginning to fill that gap. The faster we start, the faster we take action based on a decision or a choice we've made, the more we're reinforcing our commitment to actually making that happen. So if this is where we are with respect to contribution, and this is where we want to be with respect to a specific challenge in, in contribution in our life, as soon as we decide, hey, this is the option I'm going to act on, I am going to investigate my top three core values, and that's connection to, I'm just making this up off the top of my head, and it, connection to different ways that I can contribute. And I'm going to pick one of those ways. And in order to contribute more in your business life, your personal life, your community, whatever's important to you, I'm going to start moving toward that and making that a reality in my life. Not just saying I want to do it, not just saying I want to donate money, not just saying I want to make the world a better place, but actually taking steps and actions to positively impact that cause, that organization, that community, uh, your family, whatever it is for you. So we talked about that. We talked about uh, different ways of analyzing alternatives. Uh, Mason, whose story is in guide two of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page, used pros and cons and did pros and cons for all 10 of the things that he came up with as options in the previous step. Me, I'm only going to do three because that's what I usually do. I make myself come up with at least 10 possible options. Then I pick the top three that I want to analyze. Then I use a tool to analyze them. I share the urine analysis tool in Supersize Your Business, which is one of my favorite because it allows me to look a little more deeply into both the objective and subjective ways of, of analyzing a thing. Sometimes it's easy to measure something. You know, if I'm measuring my physical health or my weight loss or, uh, a, a, a financial thing, those things are easy to measure because there's a lot of, of measures that we can use and apply to those things. Other things like contribution and emotions and thoughts, some of those are much more subjective. So I like these tools in that they take something subjective and they let us add numbers or scores to it or rank it and prioritize it, which makes it more objective and easier to choose and take action on. Uh, urine analysis stands for urgent resources, important, necessary, and energy or effort required. Now, the amount of resources that are required and the amount of energy or effort that's required, those things are going to, if it takes a lot in those areas, those are going to be lower priority for me personally because my energy and my effort and my resources are tapped out already. So if I need to find a bunch of resources in order to do something, that's going to rank that option lower on my totem pole in terms of what I can take action on right now. Uh, when it comes to urgent, meaning how important, how, how urgent is it that I do this right now? Uh, important is how important it is, is it to me or to my business or to my situation or to my core values? And then necessary is, is it something that needs to be done at all? Is it something that should be done at all? Is it even necessary? Because a lot of the things that we think are important and that we have to do or should do, actually, if we take a step back and we look at it in terms of the big picture and our core values and what we want to accomplish in the world, we're like, 
oh my God, I have wasted X number of hours or so much time either fretting about and not doing or beating myself up because I should have done it uh, or procrastinated over something that actually isn't even necessary at all, right? I don't know, maybe that's never happened to you, but it happened to me several times. And on a pretty regular basis, it still happens, which is why necessary is part of the urine analysis. So, oh, that's all I've got today. So much going on. So much going on in my family, in my life, in, in people I love and care about's health and well-being. It's just mind-boggling. <coughs> and then you got all the other craziness that's going on in the world that impacts each and every one of us on some level. I'm, I'm learning that if I... Think for myself, if I don't watch mainstream media, if I stay off social media, except when I'm adding value to that, I am in a much better place in, in the world at large than if I am letting other people or other things or other sources think for me. I know that's the easy way, but it is very, very unhealthy, at least for me. All right. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have an absolutely fabulous, fantastic day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.